Hi, have you ever thought about why only few students are able to get into the top most companies with a huge salary? How is this possible? Do you know the reason? If you know the reason, try to pick the right answer from the three choices that I'm going to give you over here. So the first choice is that they are too lucky to get that job. And the second choice is that well preparedness. And the third choice is that they have that inborn talent. For those who wanted to know the reason for the success and reason for uh, how these guys are getting into the top most companies, let me tell you about the three important things that I'm going to talk about in this video actually. So these are the three things which you have to do if you are in 20s or 25, 30, doesn't matter actually. But if you are at the beginning of your college days, then this is the right time for you to start. If you are able to uh, practice these three things, Nobody can stop you from growing to any level and nobody can stop you from achieving anything. But one thing you have to keep in your mind is that these are the three important things that you have to do consistently. Doing for a month, doing for a year and doing for a week is not going to give you any benefit. But if you are consistent enough to practice continuously throughout your life, throughout the year, and you can feel the difference in your life, difference in your career and difference in the enhancement of your professional growth actually. So please follow the three important things that we are going to talk about in this video in order to change our life better than who we are today. So let me start by introducing myself. I am Subhash Chandran who is running this channel from last one and a half year. Uh, to, in order to educate you about the pipe designing. So if you are a candidate who is interested in learning about piping designing, so you can follow my channel. I guarantee you that I'll be able to teach you about piping design. So let's come back to our topic. So what are the three important things that you have to do without fail, without delay, without any kind of procrastination in your life? Actually? So the first important thing that I wanted to tell you is that you have to read newspapers. But reading newspapers is not just simply. I want you to focus on these five important areas. As long as you focus on these five important areas, you will never be able to fail in your life. So the reason why I want you to read the newspaper is that there is a cumulative effect that you can bring it actually. See, one of the important reasons for our failures in our life is that we have this lack of information. So we do not have any information or we can say we don't have the right information so that we are not able to prepare ourselves in order to uh, get into any job or get into anything that we have to do with. So for that, you have to read the newspaper. Reading the newspaper in a random way is not just uh, recommended from my side actually. So I'm going to recommend you the five important areas that you have to read except the current affairs. Don't get into the political science. But if you are a candidate who has an interest, that's a different topic. But as a part of your personal growth that I wanted to concentrate on the five important areas. So the first important area is that you have to read the technology section. And the second important area is that you have to focus on the engineering section. And the third important area is that you have to focus on the education sec uh, section. And the uh, uh, fourth important area is that health and tips. And the fifth important area is opportunities. So these are the five areas you have to focus on. Technology, engineering, education, opportunities and health tips. Don't look at any other piece of information in the newspaper. So how you have to read? This is what I want you to do. Go through the newspaper. You can start from the first page or you can start from the last page. Wherever you see the piece of information about these five topics, give a focus, try to read it. It could be about education or the name of the college or the name of institute. Check the different types of courses that they are going to list. And if it is about the technology, try to understand what is that technology, what is that piece of news about that particular technology. From this, what you will get is that you will be able to get millions of information if you are going to do this continuously, day after day, month after month, year after year. So from this, you will be able to get into a narrative about 
what kind of field is slowly booming throughout these years actually so you will be able to find what kind of interest is booming what kind of demands are asked by the companies what kind of opportunities are asked in the newspaper so what are the different roles what are the skills required which are the institutions that is providing these skill trainings so you can basically you will have thousands of information in hand ready if you start early so if you are a person who is going to read for a week and uh, a month and immediately trying to do something this may not be enough for you to do it actually so this is one of the very important thing that these guys generally does they have hell lot of information in their hand they know what they have to do they know what kind of training they have to get it actually so for that you have to start reading newspaper as early as possible so if you are at 20s then is the right time doesn't matter if you are at 15 16 and all as long as you start reading your newspaper uh, without any delay you will be able to gather the information so the number of days of your consistent practice and consistent focus on this informations in the newspaper will give you such a kind of a narrative that you don't have to ask any advice to anyone most of us don't do this thing in daily basis we do only when we wanted to have an opportunity wanted to know about something but without any goals without any deadlines you have to do this as a general daily practice like you eat like you take bath like you brush you have to do this and the cumulative effect you cannot imagine about it it is going to be huge the potential the benefit that you are going to give, uh, reap up from this kind of a practice is going to be huge please take this seriously and try to practice it so this is the first important thing that i wanted to tell you about now let's go to the second important thing the second important thing that i want you uh, talk about is develop the prospering and good habits so basically develop the good habits why am i talking about this because good habits are the only habits which will help you to prosper help you to grow help you to move from one point to another another point at the same time bad habits will push you down will uh, make you feel uh, um, uncomfortable make you feel uh, uh, unconfident make you feel completely a loser but the good habits will help you to move from any point of your life to a higher level you can reach you can enlighten yourself you can learn many things actually it will uh, act as a medium for you to travel towards a success so that is the importance of good habits so what i want you to uh, know is about you have to know what are the good habits that you have to cultivate for this let me just uh, guide you with one simple book which is i have uh, that is one of my favorite book and the name of the book is atomic habits you can go and check in the google this is one of the famous book about how tiny actions tiny decisions and small small uh, changes in your behavior will help you to reach your highest goal in your life so this is one of the fantastic book uh, for those who wanted to learn about good habits because as i told you good habits are those which will really really help you to make yourself make your dream true and make you become successful and let me tell you nobody can stop you if you have a few set of a good habits that will push you towards a success but i wanted to give you some of the examples about good habits so one of the first good habit that i wanted to tell you as an advice is that try to focus on fitness because if your fitness is not in good condition you cannot achieve anything you have to run after your health but if your health is strong your fitness is strong you can do n number of things in life you can do n number of things n number of things there is there is no limitation at all and the second important thing that i wanted to focus is that try to improve uh, expert skill or try to um, gain more more knowledge on one particular area it could be anything it could be a uh, coding it could be a swimming or a sport or anything but try to gain uh, try to become a specialist in one uh, particular area so that is a very important thing because see uh, in this world at this point of time this is one of the important thing that many are missing people are just getting uh, random informations about many areas which is not helping at all actually but if you are an expert there are thousands of demands for you 
Please listen to this carefully. There are thousands of demands for you. Right now, most people, I mean most organizations are looking for the experts because we have a lack of expertism at this point of time. So try to learn uh, any one particular area and try to improve your level of knowledge. Go in depth, study everything and try to become an expert in that particular field. So this is my second uh, advice that I would like to give you as a habit. You can uh, dedicate certain time in your life and you can cultivate this kind of a knowledge in one particular area. And the third important habit that I wanted to tell you is that try to avoid abusive languages. The reason for why I'm saying is that uh, if you're not a person who can control your tongue, you cannot control anything in your life. That is true. But if you are a person who can control your time, you can control anything in the world. That is what very important and the key point over here. Try to become a person who is not interested to use abusive language. By using abusive language, you are not going to do anything in life. Please take this uh, or please write down in a paper and paste it in the wall actually. You are not going to get any satisfaction in your life just by using abusing language or by abusing somebody or by scolding somebody. So cultivate a habit of a person who doesn't wish to use an abusive language so that you will be able to control your tongue, you will be able to control your words actually. By this, you will be able to develop such a kind of a consciousness that you will feel you will feel such a kind of an alertness in your actions, in your body language, in your uh, speech. This will indicate that you have such an unique identity that you respect others. Respecting others is one of the best quality for a human being to have. So for that, you should not use an abusive language. So these are the three important habits that I wanted to talk about. There are many different habits are there uh, as a good habits. That is what I'm telling you. Please go and read this book, Atomic Habits. You will be able to get how good habits can help you to become successful. Now let's go to the third point that I wanted to talk about it is about English fluency. Yes. I'm talking about developing core English proficiency in English language in terms of writing, in terms of speaking, in terms of listening because English is one of the most important language that is needed for a professional growth. So you have to have speaking proficiency, writing proficiency and listening proficiency. So how to get it? There are n number of ways. From my experience, what I had gone through and what how I had uh, prepared. Let me tell you, when I was out of my college, I was completely zero. I was shattered by the dreams that I had because I was not able to speak single line in English. So I can even tell you, even I'm not good at this level. But one thing that I've developed is that I know how to communicate in English. I'm confident now, though my grammar is not good, though my vocabulary is not good, Though I'm not a good uh, English speaker, but I don't have a fear in speaking in English because I developed such a mindset, such a quality in me so that I can speak English confidently. So let me put you in an order actually. So how I have developed this English communication. So when I started learning this, uh, I mean uh, English. So this is what I observed and I wanted to improve it. For this, the first thing that I did is I tried to copy this conversation at hotel, conversation at restaurants, conversation at uh, schools, conversation at market. So there are n number of conversations available in the internet, right? I used to write down and I used to mono act between the persons from either side, from this side and on, and on the other side so that I, uh, I felt that I can communicate because reading English is completely different and speaking English is com completely different, right? So I wanted to have both the um, a kind of uh, in English where I can speak well and as well as I can write well and I can listen well actually. So the first thing that I did is that mono acting about the conversation for different locations like restaurants, hospitals, markets, bus stands. Those things are available in the internet. You can copy it and try to mono act. By mono acting, you will be able to understand how this flow of communications happens between different person. So this is what very important. So this is the first thing. All I am going to tell you is that you have to practice in uh, for the, I mean, throughout the year, not only for a couple of hours in a day, actually you have to practice week by week, month after week. Okay. So please follow that. So this is the first thing mono acting is about. And the second thing that I did is watch English movies with subtitles because 
By this way, you will be able to understand how simply the native English speakers speaks in English. Because uh, this is my observation. I may be completely wrong. I may be completely right. I observe that the kind of words that Indian use are much more complicated than the English speaker use. Because most English speakers use less vocabulary than the Indian speakers. So this is what I observed. So I felt by going through the subtitles of the Hollywood movies and I felt English is a more simple language than we understand. So this will really help you in order to understand how the English in its natural form. So this is what I'm trying to tell you. So the most important thing that you have to do as a second practice is that you have to watch the Hollywood movies or any kind of English movies with the English subtitles so that you'll be able to understand the natural way of communication in English. And the third important thing that you have to do is read English books other than technical subject because the language in the technical books are completely different than the language in the commercial books like stories and novels. That kind of a book will help you to understand the natural way how the English speakers speak between different persons. So this is the third important thing that you have to do. See, there are many other ways. You can listen a lot of audios. You can speak to your uh, friend who knows better English and you can go to English training. There are method, many other ways, but these are the ways that I had practiced and I found that these are the ways that is giving you, uh, uh, I mean, a better improvement in terms of uh, improving your English by yourself. So the first thing, monoactic. Second thing is that you have to uh, watch the Hollywood movies with subtitles. And third, you try, you uh, have to read the English books, which is other than the technical subjects. So these are the three important things that you have to do. And the three things I have given you a lot of examples in each of these titles. If you can do these three things, let me guarantee you that nobody can stop you. So the answer to the question that I have asked is that preparedness. So preparedness is the one thing that helps all others who are getting to the topmost companies with a huge salary. So you don't have to do many things. You just have to do these three important things that I've talked about in this video. So I will meet you in another fantastic video. Until then, bye from Subhash Chandra.